Is eBay forcing resellers now to use pirate ship to ship some of your items? Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk a little bit about a change at eBay that's happened quite a little while ago that we've discussed here before, but it seems to have gotten far, far worse with all the folks that actually keep contacting me asking about what's going on with this issue. Now, what's going on, and I've went through this, I've tested it, I've called eBay quite a few times, going back almost a year when this first started to happen. Basically, if you list an item that's, say, media mail in a category that isn't tied to a book or something along that line, it will allow the buyer to pay for a media mail rate that you have listed in that listing. But when you go to actually print that item with the media mail rate, you cannot do a media mail rate. It is blocked out, and there is no option whatsoever to change that. There is apparently a block on using media mail at the label printing aspect for anything that eBay doesn't deem as a media category. And I've went through this. I can pretty much confirm that this is what's happening. I've even talked to an eBay exec quite some time ago, never responded, never made any remarks on it. They are aware of it as far as I am concerned because I personally told somebody about this. At the end of the day, what happens and what keeps happening and people keep asking me is, wow, I can't print this. What's going on? They call eBay or they don't have phone service because they don't have an anchor store. Phone service isn't available, so they can't print out that same day. There is no option to change. What eBay has said in the past, you may have to end it, change categories. You may have to switch it around. Many other things trying to get that to work to get it fixed. There is no fix from what I see. I have been confirmed by just one single person on a, a random phone call with eBay before about a different topic. I asked this person about it and he said it appeared there was a block trying to ban media from going out in other categories. Sad that that's the case that they did with this. They didn't tell us and again, what they're doing is they are collecting, they are billing the buyer for media mail rate because that's what I have or anybody else has it selected because say it's a sheet music in a military category in, in collectibles. That's one of the ones that I ran into an issue with. Now, yes, it is a piece of sheet music, but it's more a military item or say a historical item if that sheet music is tied to a president or something like that. The majority of people buying something that's tied to a specific president like FDR March or something like that would be someone who's into FDR more so than anything else. So what category should you be listing something in? The appropriate one for many may not be the sheet music category. Someone may in sheet music only be looking to buy buy sheet music to play. They're not looking to frame it or put it on the wall or something like that, which many of the historical ones would be. Now, this goes for books or anything else in other categories. If you list a book in some other category that's not tied to a book category, it'll let you put a media mail rate in that listing, but it won't let you ship it out that rate, even though it charged that buyer for the media mail rate. Now, what I just had is the same basic thing. The preferred choice for shipment is stated as media mail in there, but it's all blacked out. I can't touch it on eBay at all. No one at eBay knew when I call or, or try to get an answer on this. And what happens is there's no other option. The only option I have is to go to pirate ship. Now, there's no discount either way with media mail, so it doesn't really matter where I ship it from. But it's insane that I can't ship something that's legally 100% allowed to go through the media rate because it's a sheet music or a book of any kind. Any books go through the media mail rate. Any books. That's just the way it is. Now, not comic books per se or things like that. Some comic books can go via media mail. It just depends. This is affecting quite a few people. Again, they've never announced this. They've never said that you shouldn't list or you can't list anything media in other categories besides that. The biggest, most bothersome part of this is that a lot of people list books in other categories because it's more relevant to the book itself, to the item. And they're shipping it media. That's not violating anything. And a majority of people who sell magazines on eBay will send them media mail rate. Now, a magazine cannot go media mail rate unless it has no advertisements in it whatsoever, which there are some. So there are some that can go that way. 
A lot of people are abusing that category and they don't do anything about it. So the categories they've blocked off are ones that hardly anybody would try to abuse because most people aren't going to list a book or something in some other category. So it makes no sense to punish a large chunk of people just because maybe somebody at one point listed media in the wrong category. Now, I can't even get media mail purchased from the post office itself from their online site. You can't even go into the machines here by our house to get it done at a machine without having to talk to somebody. Media mail, right? But I can go right to Pirate Ship, and I'm forced to go to Pirate Ship every single time this happens. What's going to happen if you call? You're going to spend 20 minutes online trying to get somebody to answer how to fix it, what to do, what you're going to do about it. I've even had in one case where eBay refunded me the difference. I shipped it first class. I complained because eBay would not allow me to ship it the way that the person paid for it. And eBay ended up giving me the money back, even though it did go the higher rate. It wasn't my fault. They actually charge. So, I mean, I guess at this point, if eBay is going to do that and you do are forced to do first class mail, you may want to call eBay and see if they'll give you the credit. It's not your fault. There's no announcement. Nobody at the help desk, whenever I've called, knew what was going on. It was someone from another department that actually was able to at least say, yeah, it appears that that is the case with them blocking media mail from all other categories. This is huge that you would have to go to another platform to legally ship something. There's no rules that specifically state I can't list a historical item, a book as a historical item, or uh, something along that line. There's many reasons why a media rate item would go in a different category besides books. It's just a given. It just makes no sense. Like um, space exploration, NASA collectibles. You have a NASA first man on the moon record. I would list it in the NASA section because it's produced and made by NASA. It's not necessarily a collectible as a record per se. It's a collectible as a NASA produced item. That goes for a lot of things. There's Pillsbury, Doughboy uh, records. There's Revlon records. There's all sorts of that type of thing. And as I said, with this change that eBay did, it allows you to pick media mail as your only form of shipment. It also bills and collects only for that media mail rate. But when you go to the far end, the end of the day, to print that label up, you can't do it. So they're forcing a ton of people to go to pirate ship to ship items that you should be allowed to ship on the platform. Just over a year ago, you could ship those items out without any hassle whatsoever. But pretty much any day I want, I can ship a magazine that doesn't qualify for media mail out media mail no matter what, all day long. I could do it with some of the comic books as well, too, even though comic books with advertisements in it can't be sent media mail as well. So this is troublesome. Several of the people who contacted me went into a big spiel. They had an hour or two on the phone, or they went back and forth for hours with email trying to get this addressed. Meanwhile, the timer's ticking on them, having to ship it out within 24 hours. So it's very troublesome. And then having to explain if it's delayed, why it was delayed, because eBay wouldn't allow you to print out the shipping label. In all honesty, these days with some of the shipping label issues, I would say that pirate ship is necessity to deal with eBay. I don't have these issues on Amazon or any other platform that I'm on, but these days I'm forced to use pirate ship. I was never uh, one to rush out and use pirate ship. I charge for all shipping, so it wasn't a huge ordeal. I did use the cheapest form either way you go, but with media there is no discount, so it doesn't really matter for me on those aspects. But I use pirate ship more now because of eBay's issues blocking me from doing this. You can't combine an invoice with media items on it. So let's say I've got two items in the sheet music category or a record category or something that are media mail. I sold another item that's media mail in another category. I can't combine those. It also won't do it if, let's say, I've got a couple media mail items and I've got a first class item. I cannot combine those invoices together because it forces the media mail, if that was the first one sold, as the overall shipment type for that. It will not allow you, in some cases, to switch those over, again, depending on other factors. So there's many things tied to this that could affect you. So if you do have an issue where it's not allowing you to print something media mail or something that should be allowed, Allowed to go media mail in a category other than books or records, use pirate ship. It fixes it. You don't have to deal with an hour on the phone with eBay for them to tell you they don't have a clue on why it's doing that, what's going on, or the fix for it. It's very annoying. It's not a glitch. It's been built into the system. 
fully built into the system from what I see because it happens all the time. I've tested it. You can list it yourself. You can list a media item in many of the historical sections. If it sells, you won't be able to ship at media mail rate, even though they collected for that amount. It also voids you doing bulk shipment. It will remove those listings, and you won't be able to ship them through bulk, and they'll have to be separately scanned as well. So if you want to have them all on one bulk sheet, it doesn't work when you have a media item, a book, or anything else like that in a category that eBay hasn't specifically designated as a book category with media mail rate. But that's what I have for you today. Please keep that in mind next time that happens. It's going to happen. It's happened for almost a year at this point. They still haven't done a thing about it. They haven't addressed it. They don't respond to even the VPs that I've talked to haven't responded on the issue. It was just blown off when I brought it up to someone in person. So anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Every time folks eat super fruity bonkers fruit candy, it makes a big hit. <laughs> know why bonkers is so super fruity? It's got a chewy fruity outside with an extra fruity inside. Makes me want to eat it up. <laughs> bonkers. Bonks you out. <laughs> Some candy. <laughs>